hate. Oh ho 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 ho. Uh, official mail, thank you to follow March 27, 2022. Minecraft as well, thank you to follow April 4, 2022. Miki, thank you to follow April 9, 2022. Sucker for Pan, thank you to follow April 10, 2022. Johnny Toad, thank you to follow April 15, 2022. Dragon, thank you to follow April 15, 2022. Welcome back, Coop and Coop Etz. This is the start. This is the start. We have to start the polls again. All right, we're going to start the poll again really fast before we get in there. So go and vote at, at everyone since we have finally finished the poll, uh, since we have finally finished the poll, I was going to say finally finished the polls are back up, finally finished the polls are back up. So go and vote for the next game. So now, because Sherlock Holmes crime and punishment was voted last time. Therefore, if we're going to start a poll. Poll. I couldn't remember how to do this. What are we playing next? What are we? What am I playing next for you guys? Uh, Last of Us Part 2, uh, Hardest Challenge, uh, what else we got, Last of Us Part 2, Hardest Challenge, Choice B, 100% red dead read uh already play anything just don't play with my emotions but that's such a fun game Miki man that one hits home that without no Miki that statement right there that you said hits home 100% red dead 2 uh no because this one's going to be very difficult I'm trying I don't know the third game I think we just said play no, bad. Sorry that I haven't hit. I'm going to hit play. By the way, uh, Miki, I know you're new here on the channel. Uh, when Breeze was streaming, that's actually a pretty new thing. Uh, I was so I'm, we're sort of test. I'm sort of testing it out because Breeze doesn't stream too often because he Breeze doesn't stream too often. So I, I said, hey, you could stream my account. I sort of I have people who tend to tune in regularly. So you, if they enjoy you, you can continue this stream here till you think you want to keep doing it and have have at it. But he is not. 
He's not a permanent fixture. I apologize. If if you want if you want to keep watching Breeze, you got to go over to his channel, which I hope he promoted, because it's just sort of like a thing. Because I was like, if you if I host you on my channel, it doesn't really do anything, so you can come stream on my channel for a bit. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's mostly me who does this. It's not a group channel or anything. It was just I was having him stream on it so he can see if he likes it or because he just to see if he could like it. Well, what's the third game? I think we I, I agreed on just Resident Evil. Resident Evil. That's it. Just Resident Evil. Uh, cool. Any questions? No, I, I, I didn't want you to think this was a group channel, Miki, because it's not. We don't do group things here. This isn't group. Hun, honey, what? I swear that was a game. No, is, is that the... That was the game, right? Where it was like Candy Crush, but you had to, it was like to date girls or something, and they would just send you, the, the better you did, the more, uh, the more, the, the neuter the pictures got or something. And. Only solely, only solo, one on one. Hey, 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 Miki, hey, hey, hey. Hey, uh, by the way, the poll just did, uh, the poll did just go live, if you want to do your votes. Crimes and Punishment was just voted on while we were playing God of War or something, so this is what we ended up playing. Uh, so it's whatever you want. I've done my votes. You can vote for as many as you want. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do my vote. I did my vote. I only vote once. I could vote multiple times. I don't mind playing any of these games, but there's a couple more that I want to play than others. But it's all in what you guys want to play. So I do recommend you go and vote. Let's see what the meme is. Uh, wait, is that... No, that's cars. Uh, memes. Wow, so funny. Uh, yo, okay, it's you. By the way, I'm sorry that I, like, I, I look at Discord, but I don't always react to Discord. So don't think the Discord is inactive. I, I guess it technically is inactive. I do I do look at the Discord, but I don't always interact with the Discord because I don't have the time to just... I guess I could always just say, hey, but then if you want to have a conversation with me, I, I, I might not have it. Because when I'm not streaming, I'm, I'm literally doing important things. I did as I was told. Okay, you voted. I'm going to see what you vote voted, and then I'm going to judge you. I'm judging you. I'm judging you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You're only judged partially here. You're judged more than Breeze judges you. This game features an auto-save function. Do not exit the game or turn off the PlayStation 4 system while... Ha-ha! <laughs> At least I can turn off my PS5 system. Damn. Damn. Uh -huh. They didn't think about that. They didn't think about that. I... Oh, no. Wait, why is it... I love Resident Evil. No, I... I in memory of Ukrainian heavily 100. Oh, wow. What a... Wow. Oh, no. I have to turn to the volume. 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 Oh, my gosh. This is so loud. This is so loud. This is so loud. Oh, my gosh. My headset's on the volume. It's blowing me. You're supposed to protect me, Miki. I protect you from others. Like, Miki, if somebody... Like, if some rando was to come in here and just start saying, screw Miki, I'd have been like, leave that parasite alone. He's the reason why I'm alive after my mother who turned into a parasite try to kill me okay oh jeez that was so loud that intro was so loud but uh no I, I so i don't know i haven't played any of the other i played resident evil 7 but i haven't played any of the other resident evil games so but i really liked 7 it scared me, bro. Resident Evil 7 scared me for like the first two hours. Thank you. Oh, gosh, why does he walk like that? Wait, what's going on? Wait, what? Stop that. Wait, okay, options. Oh, gameplay. Subtitles are on, but they're not even on. Okay, we gotta off the sensitivity, man. Too slow, too slow. Alright, uh, video. Okay, audio. I'd like to just turn the music volume down. 
like a 30. All right, let's see how that works. Wait, of course subtitles aren't. Every time he says homes, it pops up. Stop, Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Face. Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I could make a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black. Bro, he looks like he got hit with the frying pan. His nose is so flat. Born in 1845 and Dude. 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? From this angle, his yes, nose doesn't look no. flat. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, okay. Inspector. Take no, your time dude. And join just. Me there. I have to go through the yard first. The Medi Men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. ASMR is in the title. Just remember that you signed up for this. How rude. ASMR is in the title. But, um, dude, from that angle, it just looked like his nose was hit with a fry man. For flat nose. I mean, it doesn't even look that. Now he's just got, like, a giant snoz, like he's Italian or Greek or something. But. Uh, but, dude, this guy, he just has, like, now he's such a giant. Look at that. Look at that nose, bro. His nose walks into a room before he does by five minutes. My my analysis table. It is useful for my work. Okay, uh, no, he wanted me to hit square. Okay, um, in the case, in, in, oh my god, I'm speaking like I'm one of them. Investigate the murder, Peter Carey. Inspect the crime scene at Woodman's Lee. Select the suit to wear using your personal wardrobe and join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. Inspector Le Le Lestrade, I, I don't remember his name at all, by the way. Pays a visit to Baker Street where he relates the homes to, uh, that's a big word, affair that involved the former, grotesque affair that involved the former captain known as Black Peter. Alright, uh, what's this? I okay, I... Leave yet. I am not finished here. You're right, um, I guess we'll talk to you, Watson. To Peter house. Mrs. Hudson and I will oh. take care of the mess you've made here. Okay, 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 okay. My archive. This is where I keep my... Okay. Oh, wow. Watson's got... Wait, hold up. Oh, yeah, hold up. Watson has to cut through your office to get to his room. What a shame. Oh, this is your room. Uh, okay, we're supposed to wardrobe up, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yes, we are. Um, nah, nah, what's your... Nah. He looks too formal in these. Too formal. Too formal. Too formal. Too formal. Too formal. Where's the one that... I like the... Yeah, this one right here. No, I'm gonna go back. Yeah. This one. Oh, it's locked? Oh, it said it was locked. He can have absolute... Alright, yeah, let's give him my haircut. 
Yeah, right here, yeah. Oh, dude, nobody in the, those times w w had glasses like that. No, we're gonna make him just look like a creep. Oh my gosh, no, what the f- Dude, why would you even- Why would you- Oh, that's Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Oh, I can't pick those. Damn. Sure, we'll just go with the gray suit. Man, that's what my Sherlock's gonna look like, though. Alright, um... Uh, have I done everything here? Yes, yes I have! Fast travel time, baby! Uh, Peter, you're also known as the Black Peter, born in 1845, so 50 years old. He achieved great success in whale hunting in Scandinavia. Retired in 1884, eventually moved in the Woodman's Lee. Alright, um... 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 Um, character portraits. I feel like I've met a few characters. Alright, that's a woman. That's probably a police officer. Uh, some guy- this guy definitely has a beard. Um... Definitely he's wearing like a beanie maybe. Definitely got a beard. Uh, I, th I think I'm gonna meet five people. Well, I'm here. This looks like a kid. All right. Anyways, continue. Oh, dude, dude, root beer. I don't know if y'all have ever had root beer, but root beer is so good. Like it's the best American soft drink. I'm over here. Come on. And soft drinks are drinks that don't have alcohol in them. So does that mean? So that would mean water is technically a soft drink. Oh my gosh, you're you're in such a curb stomping position. Like I could curb stomp you. It seems that the garden was well maintained. I thought that was a dinosaur. That... The garden fields are well kept as the gardener works here. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm actually gonna have to solve crimes. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Hmm. Hmm. Please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder. Hmm. Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Hmm. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open. But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door, and... Oh, dear. Hmm. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Prostitutes. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his return. Not prostitutes. Hmm. 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 Mm. Sir, sure, sure, like, you gotta stop looking at her breast.
I mean, I see the shears, but... You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? I, I don't know how I knew this. My dog got my shoe. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Yes. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral mm. of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The uh. shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Hmm. Thank you, madam. All right. Seems that the garden was well maintained. Uh. Okay, the door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. These scratches are fresh. Mm. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now, a mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Hmm. What a terrible way to die. It's kind of poetic. The tooth of a sperm whale. 
Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Hmm. PC have been crudely burned. Okay. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. No, I have to line it up like... No, I don't want to see it. Dude, how do I get this right there? I know this... Like right there. There we go. Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Someone drank from this glass recently. Someone drank from this glass recently. Okay, he was just talking about the glass as a whole. Rum. A sailor's drink. It seemed that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Mm -hmm. Peter Carey's boots. They look to be a size 8. Okay. Hmm. Oh, 
of navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Interesting. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Okay. Peter Carey was her captain. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, ah. Oh. Peter Carey was impaled Hell. to the wall oh, by a whaling harpoon. It's kind of poetic, ain't it? The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the feet of carry. Yes. Okay. Sherlock Holmes, baby. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Mm-hmm. Yes. This wooden handle is plain. <laughs> Ugh. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Peter Carey was fully dressed. Ugh. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Uh, uh. weapon was probably taken from this rack. Mm. J.H.N. Ah. Probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. There we go. These abbreviations mean something. But what? Form reduction. Right, red color. Sin of the what? Okay. Um. Let me let me see that. Unachievable clue combination. All right. Breaking attempts. Make an ambush. An ambush must be made tonight. See if the breaking attempt will be repeated. Ha! Huh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Oh, I set up an ambush. I tried, I hit square, but it didn't even let me set it up. Can I put shoes on his feet? Peter Carey. 
Oh, I don't even know how to set up the ambush. Oh, go here. Well, Mr. Rounds, what do you think? I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why Ugh. return tonight, when they will be better prepared? Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. All right, got a long night ahead. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be, but he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Thank you, madam. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. All right, so do I just leave now? We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin near the window. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Oh wow, it just it just does me like that. Uh, in case that some of your clues can form an important deduction can improve the progress of your investigation. That's what that means. Got it. Right. So, oh, who do you think it's going to be? Just give me some sailor buddy, man, that wishes he never retired. doing here you're detectives I suppose you imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey I assure you I'm innocent innocent and what are you doing in his cabin shall I tell you you came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey but we were here waiting for you what is your name John Hopley Nelligan but I I didn't do you deny that you came here yesterday no but but I Yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... It's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same. I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Open case book! Yeah! 
Oh. Okay. Dust. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Come on up here. Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. Mr. Holmes? This evidence? Yes, it is. These are the suspect's belongings. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something, but what? And partner, 1883. To my friend, from R. Dawson. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Search archives. used to force the door mm. of Peter Carey's cabin. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.M. Alright. So do I have to go back here? And that's how I check my stuff? Cause it said search archives. So does that that just means um uh, it's gotta mean right go back to the newspapers? That is not the one I need. That is not the one. That is not the one I need. That is not the one I. That is not the one I need. Oh. Uh. That is not. That is not the one. That is not. That is not the one. That is not the one I need. That is not the. That is. That is not the. That is. That is not the one I need. Another man has found a regional bank institution based in Cornwall has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. Oh, you gotta have a horse take you there the entire way, man. So if we just look at the evidence, right? Which I was... These are all just talking points. Alright, let's go talk to him. I am the Sherlock Holmes that just gets to walk through everything. Locked. Where did he say he was at? Right, definitely not over here. There we go. I miss something.
Thin neck is one. Expensive fabric, okay. Short sleeve. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. I have heard the story of Dawson and uh. Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believed that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. I don't know, man. I found it hard to believe. this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to Ugh. receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner mm, of the ring? That was good. I got the good at that. The ring is mine. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man. Mr. Nelligan. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Yes. Find out whether an unskilled and untrained man keeps a harpoon well enough to kill a Philippe. Yeah. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. Prepare for a harpoon throwing experiment. Alright. 
Can you even exit? Oh, I guess I could. That's done. All right. Oh, look at the dog. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. Yes. But we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. Why did that, like, do I that? I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Well, thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Look at the dog. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. I got a lot that I got to do to solve this case. Let's continue. Mm. So, Three. That's, That's the one, the one I, need. I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. This is the log. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Log notes for July. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. Log notes oh. for August. These pages have been torn away. Ooh. Log notes for Canadian Pacific Railway. Mm. CPR, a torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require Ooh. speaking with a dead man. Okay. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Okay. Where's Wiggins? Somewhere Baker Street. Okay. Oh, look, we got the harpoon off the wall. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I didn't grab the harpoon off the wall. I specifically wanted to, well, not to grab the harpoon off the wall, but to just do these things, and it just didn't work. You know? Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialists. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Mm. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins. I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, because his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. No! Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. There's a lot that I haven't even done yet, and you want me to go there? Okay, I gotta go back, take a harpoon. What was this again? The break of the were made in order to recover the notebook. Yeah, okay, yeah. I made these attempts. So... Should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. I couldn't just. Right. Oh. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? to indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Yet. Holmes, Sorry. you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Holmes, you should try to aim better, and throw as hard as you can. The harpoon has struck the body, but with insufficient strength to pierce it straight through. Did it. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. 
But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. Hmm. Skill man or lucky throw. Who's a feat of strength? Yeah. Feet of strength. No way, that was just luck. Ugh. I guess I, nah, I've already done all the deduction. Well, I guess not. No, I have. Come on. All right. Wow, I took three steps. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect. Liam Hurtlick. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Nah. Interesting. Great hell. Well, the constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Okay. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? Mm, breathtaking. All right, let's talk to... These are the suspect's belongings. Also a size eight, right? Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. Hmm. The stains are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. I don't want to do that yet, actually. I want to, before we interrogate, I want to go back. But I want to go back before I interrogate. Because if I if I am doing this correct, not correct, but if I'm doing this the way that I think I can do it, um, hmm, I th think. This I should be able to compare the boots right here, right? No? But I wanna... Oh, I should be able to place the boots there. You gonna have any new information? I doubt it, but since I'm here. Who could do such a thing? I don't know. Don't care. Alright, well I guess I wanted to compare the boots and be like the boot size in there, but I guess I can't. Something I would have wanted to do, but I uh, I, I couldn't do it. All right, whatever. How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet?
please escort this suspect for interrogation. Hmm. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. That's all for now. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Uh. How is the investigation going? So I think I know, so I'm going to want to go back, right, and test, find the boot sizes. I want to go back, yeah, okay, so I'm going to want to go back here. I guess let's go back here, see if I can do the boot sizes, because he was here and he was a, let's get the hand of a gun. So my guess would be I have to go back here, right? It seems that the garden was well maintained. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you, madam. Oh, finally, I can examine these footprints. They're going to be too small. Don't match the footprints. But these are. These boots yeah. match the footprints exactly. These foot. Uh if we match from of the wind this proving he was there, dude denies that he Let's try to talk to her one more time, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Who could do such a thing? Okay. 
Mm, let's go here. If not, if not here, we're gonna go back to Backstreet, assuming that he's gonna try to have the list for me. Actually, let's go there first, okay? Well, I'm already. I can't say let's go there first if I'm already on my way to the jail cell. Okay. So, boot size matched. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Yeah. Uh. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Mm. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? Mm. I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. Ooh. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. What am I doing here? I've done no- Okay, so now... Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, so it's best if I go back here, the Baker Street. See if he comes back with the list, because I try to get a list, so I would hope he comes back. Then if he's not coming back, well, then... We still have to do the investigation thingy anyways, but there was also a really long list of sailors, so... Yeah, I didn't think so. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, <gasps> orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. second okay so green blue then orange because orange needs to be the third so since orange needs to be the third then clear has to come after orange but Now this would make it this would make it two and this would make it three again because no, we have to use all something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again.
What? No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Okay, let's try to figure that out. Is there like a repeat section where he like tells me how to do this again? First condition. All seven, all seven reagents ingredients. should be used. Yeah, okay, all seven Second ingredients. Condition. Orange all reagent should, should be the, be the third, third one in the sequence, in the sequence. After, after the blue, the blue reagent. Blue. Third condition. Colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Wait. Wait. Oh, it should be the third one after the blue, so I have to put like so I have to put like blue, right? It has to be the third one after, so it's like I do green. One Or would it just be? No, nah, because that's gonna. You know, no. One. Hmm. Now that's gonna poof. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. Did you guys hit them well, but I beg you to be here. Uh, 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 and remember our vows. I've done nothing dishonorable for which you, me. Hmm. Wait. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. I can always cons Okay. None of that yet. <clears throat> hmm. Dude, these investigations take a while. It's an hour and 20 minutes and we're still in the first investigation. Okay. Please escort this suspect to interrogation. interrogation. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? I did Ugh. as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. <laughs> well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads. But now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. Oh, it's fun of just traveling back and forth. Whatever, though. I don't mind it.
Uh... Alright, sorry, my bad. I always... can hear a horse outside. At least that's what it felt like. That tree still looks like a dinosaur to me. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Oh, I thought she said, oh Thank right, you, not oh my. Let's see what could be hidden here. There we go. But, oh, I have to hit examine first? Okay. Let us see what is in this box. Oh, wait, what? Wait, I didn't read that. I gotta wait for the pop up on Twitch. that I'm waiting dude I have no idea oh I get it now There we go. I got it. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting. Hmm. You've been good to me all, all the time that I've known you. I cannot describe. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Select the correct answer, man. I wasn't even wrong, was Madam, I? Madam, I am aware of your affinity with oh, Liam yeah. Hurtley. Oh, what are you what talking, are you talking about? about? Madam, I'm, I am aware, I'm aware of, of your too with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. 
Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... After what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Cheater. Oh. Alright, let's go back. Mmm, yes. Laying on the pipe. Lay it on the poop. Lay it on the poop. Mr. Holmes, we found mm. the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review. This man is a harpooner. And his initials are PC. The oh, same initials okay. that were found on the tobacco pouch. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. Some time later. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch pub where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. <sighs> the potion lines the potion, you can use the present of the crime seat, but it must still be proven. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Alright. Ugh. Now I can approach Cairns. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. He's full of grief. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. 
Alright, wait. Follow inspiration to understand his moves. I'm playing your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. Oh my gosh, I'm right there. You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. Sure. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. I'll quit after this one. stamina back. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Uh. Winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. Uh. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well, at least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? 
You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He's a liar. Violent too, swinging those fists of his around. He's a tyrant, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes, I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn, and I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. Was he? And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night, two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? I've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, uh... Oh, it is! Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I. Okay. I'm done here. It's time to leave. I don't even know what he'd want. Like, I don't. Like, I have no idea what to do here. Like, what do I do? I'm lost! I need a hint. I need a hint. I don't know what to do here. Like, I'm so lost. Like, okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I know what to do. A 
A map of London and the sur Let's go this way, right? I don't know. I think it could be more motive. Alright, so let's talk to the constable, right? I was... How is the investigation going, Mr. Rose? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? I'm not saying another word. What am I doing here? I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Mm. Come back to Baker Street. Uh, no, but like everything with that kid is done. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, but... the bathroom but I'll be back but everything everything with the kids done
Yes, yeah, so I'm back, back again. Actually, you know what? Um, hmm. Oh, actually, wait. I can't. So I have to. F my analysis table. It is useful for my work. Okay, so I have no idea why I would need that. I still have that um letter thing in bobber. So um. Hmm. I guess I could go look through more of his belongings. But I, I don't really know what to look for. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was mm. larger than a book, a box, or a small chest, perhaps. Oh. Okay, so the shelf. Oh, that was it. That was the last thing I needed to finish in inspecting this place. So I did miss a clue. Hmm. Am I able to talk to you? Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Thank you, madam. Okay, so they're not in his cabin. This place is not covered with an Yes, I understand. Okay, but where could I even go for that? Uh Okay, uh, let me go back to uh Scotland Yard, see if I can talk to any of them about these stolen papers. Uh Unless I'm missing something inside the evidence room, which I don't think I am, but I could be. But I doubt it. But we're still going to check it out, because, I don't know. I th yeah, I don't know. Uh... These are the suspect's belongings. I wonder if these are connected. Uh, eight five three two. This one. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished. However. Okay. So now that we got that, uh, breaking attempts to missing papers. Uh. Yes, I and mean, we could also do missing papers, missing tin box. Uh, uh, Oh, uh, whoa. Wait, but be aware, be aware of what? No, what did that say? But be aware of what? That I, that, oh, jeez, no, bro, wait. Wait.
Dude, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't. Why would they do this? I don't think it was Patrick Kane. I, I, I don't think it was him. I think it was. I think it was these guys. Like, I, I would have honestly, if I had to do it, I thought I would think it would be. If it could have let me do it, I would think it would be John and Peter. Because I don't think. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. It's Peter, because Peter is poor and needs more money. It, really, What did he have out of killing him? He didn't really get a lot out of killing him. I feel like John and Liam got more out of it. I don't know. I'm going to go with John. Yeah, we're going to go with two murders. Bro, I... the case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. Please. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? There are two culprits, Inspector Nelligan and Hurtley. What? Well, I would never have guessed, Mr. Holmes. They are a rotten pair, though. It was a combination of two motives, culminating in one crime. What were their motives? The first was revenge. Black Peter possessed the bond certificates that had belonged to Nelligan's father, and young Nelligan wished to retrieve them. And the second? The second was a crime of passion. Liam Hurtley was in love with Black Peter's wife, and this caused a conflict between him and Carrie. Well, well, well. Makes sense, Mr. Holmes. I suggest that you organize a small confrontation between the two, just to confirm my accusation. That's a good idea, Mr. Holmes. I'll talk to these fellows. Join me in the interrogation room. I hope it's them, because otherwise I just screwed up bad. Gentlemen, we know everything about your association to kill Black Peter. Admit that you planned it together. Our association? I don't even know this man. You needed to kill Peter Carey. There had to be two of you there. Ridiculous. I'm innocent. All that remains is to determine the level of guilt. Which one of you is the initiator in this case? But I just told you I've never seen this man before. It's him. He's the culprit. He was forcing me. He threatened me. He's the mastermind behind it all. Shut up. You're a lunatic. Well, it all seems very clear, don't you think, Mr. Holmes? Inspector, I believe that Nelligan is the true culprit. Hurtley was his accomplice, blinded by his love for Peter's wife. You've got it wrong. It isn't true. That's right. I confess. Well, young man, it turns out you are the gang leader. It was the other way around. Damn, bro. Now. No, it was the other way around. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. Wait, so... Press to check your clue. Oh, it was wrong. Yes, because... Well, I want to get it right, right? Because Sherlock Holmes is supposed to get it right, man. I think it was a two-murder... But I think it was the other way around, I guess.
Okay, let's try it this way. Man! The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. So tell me, who killed Black Peter? There are two culprits, Inspector. Nelligan and Hurtley. What? Well, I would never have guessed, Mr. Holmes. They are a rotten pair, though. Hmm. And it was a combination of two motives, culminating in one crime. What were their motives? The first was revenge. Black Peter possessed the bond certificates that had belonged to Nelligan's father, and young Nelligan wished to retrieve them. And the second? The second was a crime of passion. Liam Hurtley was in love with Black Peter's wife, and this caused a conflict between him and Carrie. Well, well, well. Makes sense, Mr. Holmes. I suggest that you organize a small confrontation between the two, just to confirm my accusation. That's a good idea, Mr. Holmes. I'll talk to these fellows. Join me in the interrogation room. Gentlemen, we know everything about your association to kill Black Peter. Admit that you planned it together. Our association? I don't even know you this knew man. This man. You needed to kill Peter Carey. There had to be two of you there. Ridiculous. I'm innocent. All that remains is to determine the level of guilt. Which one of you is the initiator in this case? But I just told you I've never seen this man before. It's him. He's the culprit. He was forcing me. He threatened me. He's the mastermind behind it all. Shut up. You're a lunatic. Well, it all seems very clear, don't you think, Mr. Holmes? Mm -hmm. Both are guilty, of course, but I believe that Hurtley was the initiator of the crime. It's ridiculous. Why would I need the help of this weakling? You wanted to be rid of the man who was terrorizing his wife and who prevented the two of you from being together. Young Nelligan was just following his lead. You are wrong. I have nothing whatsoever to do with this. You'll explain that to the judge. The case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. Very well, Mr. Holmes. Goodbye for now. I found 16 out of 16. So that was wrong? What? So it was none of those guys. But then why did he go in there to steal documentation? Well, he didn't. Well, Sherlock Holmes said he did think he was an outlier, like he didn't belong there. So I guess it makes sense in the end. Sure, let's go with this. Uh. No. So, dude, I, I suck at this. I mean, he did say that he wouldn't, um, that he didn't think the other guy was a part of it, that he just didn't seem to fit the equation. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain, a Captain Ahab. Is that you? No, my name is Sherlock Holmes. Detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? That is correct. We need to talk. About what? About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know, don't you? Yes. How? The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. Yeah, I didn't think I it could confess. be luck either, man. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? 
Did you need money? Yeah. I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message via your little thug. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo Coventral. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Orange so cake? Why? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's my favorite. More sometime later. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. I cannot thank you enough. It's all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities? Incredible! But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me, this is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times thank you. I don't... Mm, I think that's the right one. Alright, accept decision. Sympathizing. I, I, Captain! Finished the Black Peter case. Alright. Well... Depending on how we load in. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to end this one here, though. I, I appreciate uh, all y'all tuning in. I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you all then. Peace out. Hope, uh, I'm just going to hit X, but... This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks... Bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerant. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Mycroft. Oh. Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. Help us with those 
methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men, a band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. All right, awesome. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. See you all then.